Welcome to our channel, where we explore powerful insights to help you navigate life and relationships with wisdom and strength. In today's video, we'll uncover how to outsmart emotional games using stoic principles to protect your peace and build confidence. If you enjoy content that inspires growth and resilience, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for updates. Don't forget to like, share, and let us know your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Your support means the world to us. Have you ever felt trapped in a maze of emotional uncertainty, questioning whether someone's interest in you is genuine or just a game? It's a situation that can leave even the strongest among us feeling confused, frustrated, and doubting our own value. But here's the truth. You don't have to be a victim of emotional games. There's a way to regain control, protect your heart, and even come out stronger and wiser. This isn't about manipulation or revenge. It's about mastering your own emotions and developing unshakable self-confidence through the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. Today, we're diving deep into how you can outsmart anyone playing games with your heart by applying practical Stoic principles to your modern relationships. Stoicism, a philosophy rooted in ancient wisdom, is all about cultivating inner peace, emotional resilience, and a sense of control over your life. Imagine being so grounded in your sense of self that no one, not even the most skilled game player, can shake your confidence or make you question your worth. By the end of this video, you'll not only recognize the signs of someone playing games with your emotions, but you'll also learn to navigate these situations with grace, self-respect, and the quiet strength of a true stoic. First, let's talk about emotional control, the cornerstone of stoic philosophy. When someone is playing games with your heart, their primary weapon is unpredictability. They might send mixed signals, create emotional highs and lows, or use silence to keep you on edge. The natural response is often to react emotionally, whether it's with frustration, desperation, or confusion. But as the Stoics teach us, we cannot control other people's actions. We can only control our responses. The moment you allow yourself to be reactive, you've given them power over you. Instead, take a step back and practice what the Stoics call apatheia, a state of emotional equanimity. This doesn't mean you stop caring. It means you stop overreacting. One of the most effective ways to do this is to pause before responding to any emotional trigger. When someone pulls away, becomes inconsistent, or plays mind games, resist the urge to chase them or demand answers. Instead, take a deep breath. Reflect, and remind yourself that their behavior says more about them than it does about you. This simple practice of pausing allows you to stay in control, no matter what chaos is unfolding around you. It's also crucial to understand the power of boundaries. Many people fall into the trap of tolerating disrespect or inconsistency because they fear losing the connection. But here's a stoic truth. What you tolerate becomes your reality. If you don't establish and enforce clear boundaries, you invite others to treat you in ways that undermine your self-respect. Boundaries are not about punishing someone else. They're about protecting your peace. The next time someone tests your limits, calmly but firmly communicate what is and isn't acceptable to you. A stoic values their own integrity above all else and knows that no relationship is worth sacrificing their self-worth. Another way to outsmart emotional games is by mastering the art of detachment. This doesn't mean becoming cold or indifferent. It means not tying your happiness or sense of self to someone else's actions or approval. A Stoic knows that true fulfillment comes from within, not from external validation. When you detach from the need for someone to behave a certain way or give you the attention you crave, you become unshakable. You can enjoy their company, appreciate their good qualities, and still remain independent of their games. This inner strength not only protects you from emotional manipulation, but also makes you more attractive. Now, let's pause for a moment. If you're finding value in this video and want to continue growing stronger, wiser, and more resilient in your relationships, take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment below. Your support not only helps this channel grow, but also creates a community where we can all learn and thrive together. And hey, if you've ever faced emotional games and come out stronger, share your experience. We'd love to hear your story. Returning to Stoicism, 
One of the most empowering lessons it offers is the concept of dichotomy of control. Simply put, there are things within your control and things outside of it. Someone else's behavior, intentions, or emotions are entirely outside your control. What's within your control is how you choose to interpret and respond to their actions. When someone plays games, instead of agonizing over why they're doing it or trying to change them, focus on what you can control, your mindset, your actions, and your well-being. Part of this involves shifting your focus from external validation to internal growth. The more you invest in becoming the best version of yourself, whether through personal development, pursuing your passions, or building meaningful relationships, the less vulnerable you'll be to emotional games. A person grounded in their own purpose and self-worth cannot be easily manipulated. Stoicism teaches us that the best revenge is living a life of excellence, not out of spite, but because it is the ultimate fulfillment. When you sense someone playing games with your emotions, remember another Stoic principle, amor fati, or love of fate. This is the idea that everything that happens, even the difficult and painful experiences, is an opportunity for growth. Instead of seeing emotional games as something that diminishes you, view them as a chance to strengthen your emotional resilience. Each time you rise above the pettiness, you become more self-aware, more confident, and more in tune with your own value. Another key to outsmarting emotional games is practicing gratitude. This might seem counterintuitive. Why would you feel grateful for someone who's making your life difficult? But gratitude isn't about condoning bad behavior. It's about shifting your perspective. Be grateful for the clarity their actions bring, for the chance to set higher standards, and for the opportunity to learn more about what you truly deserve. Gratitude is a powerful tool for maintaining your inner peace, no matter what's happening around you. Finally, remember that your energy and attention are precious. Stoicism teaches us to be mindful of where we direct our focus. If someone's games are consuming your thoughts and draining your energy, it's time to reevaluate. Ask yourself, is this person adding value to my life, or are they simply a source of stress? A Stoic doesn't waste time on what doesn't serve their growth or happiness. Redirect your energy toward people, activities, and goals that enrich your life. In the end, outsmarting someone playing games with your heart isn't about beating them at their own game. It's about refusing to play in the first place. By embracing the principles of Stoicism, emotional control, boundaries, detachment, gratitude, and purpose, you can navigate relationships with clarity, confidence, and a deep sense of self-worth. You're not here to chase approval or prove your value to anyone. You're here to live authentically, love deeply, and stand strong in your truth. So the next time you encounter someone trying to play games with your emotions, remember, you have the power to rise above it all, stay grounded, stay true to yourself, and let your strength speak louder than their games ever could. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you found this video helpful. Together, we can continue growing into the best versions of ourselves. Stay strong and I'll see you in the next video.